Okay, in this video, I'd like to continue on with my tutorial series on quantum statistics. This is video number 26, and I'd like to discuss the maximizing or maximizing the occupancy function or making the most probable distribution. And I'd also like to note that I now have a website, universityphysicstutorials.com. So this is a pretty brief video, and it's more an introduction to what's coming next. So in previous videos, what I've done is as follows. I came, I came up with a mac, uh, an occupancy function, or a, excuse me, a multiplicity function. So let's say it's the multiplicity for classical particles. It turned out to be the following. We had capital N factorial. We had the multiplication of states over S. We had the density of states, the discrete density of states, the number of particles per state, and then N sub S factorial like that. Okay? Now, look, I'm not going to go into that. But that's what it is at the moment isn't really important. But this was the occupancy function. So think about it. The if you want to find out the most probable distribution, what we're trying to do is maximize the uh, we're trying to maximize the occupancy function. Okay, so the reason is this: that the most likely distribution or the most probable distribution will be the one which has the greatest multiplicity. In other words, we're after maximizing this multiplicity function. Now, this is for classical particles, of course. I'm just putting it there for um, for I suppose just for completeness. Now. A small bit of mathematics. In order to maximize a function, what we need to do is we need to differentiate it and set it to zero. Okay? So, for example, let's uh, let's say we, we had a function um, and a df. Okay? We have well, we know that df is del f del x dx plus del f del y dy in uh, if it's in two dimensions. Now, in order to maximize that or get its minimum, we need to set it to zero. Now, you need to just do a small bit of thinking as well. So, well, for, that's the first thing. We need to differentiate it and set it to zero. That's the, that's the first thing we need to do. But is there any other thing, is there any other technique that you've ever learned or heard about which is for maximizing or minimizing problems uh, or optimi optimizing a situation? And the answer is, well, I hope you've, you've heard about it, but it's called the method called the method of Lagrange multipliers and that's my that's going to be my next video because I'm going to use Lagrange multipliers in order to maximize our uh, our occupancy function to come up with the most probable distribution which we'll call the occupancy function for Maxwell Boltzmann or Fermi Dirac or Bose Einstein okay so in short in, I suppose, before I do the video on the Gorange multipliers, uh, a function is maximized when, geometrically anyway, it touches the constraint in one place. So if you have something which touches, if you say that's your constraint function, and you only touch it at one place, well that means you're tangent to it, okay? That's, that's kind of the, that's the main thing. And if you're tangent to it, the, the, the normal, the, the unit normal of your, uh, your function, and the unit normal of your constraint are anti-parallel, like that. Okay, and that's that's the that's the whole idea uh, behind Lagrange, Lagrange multipliers. That's why they work. So the the, uh, the normal vectors, which are the gradients, are parallel, and we use the the because they're parallel, they're proportional, and we use the proportionality constants, which we call the Lagrange multiplier, to enforce the constraint. Okay, and you also got to remember that at maxima and minima, the uh, the functions are not changing. Okay, so what I'll be doing in the next few videos is I will be getting each of my three occupancy functions, my classical one, my uh, one for fermions, my one for bosons, and I'll be applying the, I'll be di differentiating them and applying the method of Lagrange multipliers in order to op optimize them and get them to, ma to maximize them. Once they're maximized, we'll have the most probable distribution and they will be, for classical particles, maxwell boltzmann distribution. For fermions, it'll be the Fermi-Dirac distribution. And for uh, bosons, it'll be the Bose-Einstein distribution. Now, I'll also note that I'll, I'm going to be calculating things in terms of two random multipliers, alpha and beta. Of course, these will be our Lagrange multipliers. And in another video, I will calculate what alpha and beta are. And once I've done that, my final set of videos will be a thermodynamic an analysis of these in which I won't use alpha and beta or the occupancy functions instead I will use the, uh, the, 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 um, the partition function. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope um, that motivates you to come to watch the next videos 
uh, please subscribe to my channel and you might also visit universityphysicstutorials.com.